Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, gentlemen, for taking time out for us today and uh, helping us understand how we should strategize to get that hybrid cloud experience right. And uh, right now, the buzz is growing at hashtag ICS21. That's the hashtag for all the buzz on social media for the India Cloud Summit 21. You can head to Twitter, LinkedIn, and join in. And we have some great giveaways by the hour. And um, you can do that and let us know what you are thinking as you listen to our next panel discussion on securing multi-cloud environments for resilient businesses. Smriti Gandhi, the executive editor at Dynamic CIO, is moderating this discussion, which is paneled by Priyank Sheth, the AVP of IT and CISO at Anandrati Share and Stockbrokers Limited, Satish Kumar Dvibashi, SVP and CISO at the Inmobi Group, and Pratik Shah, Regional Sales Director West for F5. Over to yours, Priti. The virtual stage is yours. Thank you, Ashwin. Like most businesses, you have probably adopted a multi-cloud strategy. But do you have a security strategy that lets you manage across all of the services? You need an approach that focuses on visibility, standardization, automation across all your cloud environments. Now, multi-cloud environments offer cost and efficiency benefits but they also make the management process more complex, uh, which requires more attention and staffing resources. That complexity is a result of each cloud having to you know, own its own siloed systems and configuration. Now, according to a research, which is Flexara 2021 you know, state, uh, they had a cloud report where they said that 92% of the enterprises already have a multi-cloud strategy in place with 80% using a hybrid cloud strategy. Uh, that report also notes that 61% of the organizations plan to optimize cloud cost in 2021, making it the top initiative for the fifth time consecutive in a row. Now, in addition to protecting the cloud in its various deployments, it can be private, public, or hybrid, a cloud security solution must also operate to match the nature of the cloud itself as an elastic adaptive resource that can change very rapidly. The solution must address four key aspects a scalable, consistent, segmented, and adaptive. Now, dis to discuss this and more, I have with me experts today. I am not the expert here for this. So without much ado, let me first welcome Priyank, Satish, and Pratik to this conversation that we are going to have. Welcome, all of you. Thank you, Smriti. Thank you, Smriti. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so without much ado, let me jump straight into the conversation. So, uh, Priyank, let me take the liberty to ask you the first question. You know. As a CISO, what are your top considerations for creating an effective multi-cloud strategy? So, uh, Svati, uh, for any environment, uh, three basic fundamentals are there. Uh, common framework, uh, application awareness, integrated architecture. If you are talking about the common framework, all cloud providers have a different uh, proprietary architecture built on a framework, API, tool sets. Uh, those are, are specific to their environment. Uh, whereas every enterprise requires a common framework across all environment for the ease of management. So common framework is the most important facet to take a decision for the multi-cloud. Second is application awareness. Application awareness, your heterogeneous environment uh, should have, uh, you know, deep intel about the application availability on the cloud to have a benefit of bottomless visibility as well as business resilience through the automated workflows. Third point, which is related to integrated architecture. So if I talk, if I may talk about the integrated arch architecture, uh, which is basically uh, in case of a network and security are separated. So multi-cloud environment will not give you the performance, which is a potential for the uh, having the performance of that particular multi-cloud environment. Because of that, uh, you know, each layer tend to use a different technology from a different vendors that can see, uh, that cannot see and talk to each other. Hence, the integrated architecture helps us in taking a multi-cloud, uh, you know, the decisions. Further, if I may talk about the multi-cloud security requires a holistic approach that addresses uh, diverse security vulnerability and establish a consistent security controls across a multiple heterogeneous environment when designing a multi-cloud architecture. Uh, five most considerable aspects which we need to, you know, keep in mind before moving to the multi-cloud or before designing a architecture related to the multi-cloud. 
the first one is authentication and authorization the second one is updates and patches third one is component hardening fourth one is monitoring and visibility and last one is multi cloud storage so all these aspects we know that multi cloud architecture has a different framework and they have a different uh, you know the uh, structure which is a uh, specific to the cloud uh, provider but if we are getting this all as a centralized platform through any of the uh, you know partner vendor or architecture which is defined by by own organization then we should always adopt so that this all five parameter we can achieve as a centralized uh, platform through a centralized platform for a better availability better manageability and better resilience of the business that's it what you said you know priyank about better resilience of the business you know uh, the covid pandemic has taught one thing to all the businesses across all sectors across all industries that all the businesses have to be resilient and you know when you spoke about your top three priorities which are you know the common framework the application awareness or the integrated api uh, so i would now now want to ask you satish you know as a cso what are your top considerations if i have to ask any three top considerations that you have while designing uh, you know when we talk about uh, having an effective cl- multi cloud strategy sure uh, so thanks thanks to smriti first of all for having me here so today uh, i think uh, as we all uh, know right so today multi cloud is the way to go because it's not just one cloud uh, while uh, and of course there are there are enterprises who are born in cloud so while every enterprise would like to embrace cloud so you start with one cloud and you enter into other cloud because of various uh, factors so uh, as a ceo i think the biggest challenge is while the cio teams or the technology teams would like to embrace each and every cloud for ceo important part is to get the visibility across all this multiple clouds right what's happening in fact uh, uh, each cloud definitely has got its their own security in fact uh, solutions or the way they they demonstrate the hygiene what's happening but the challenge for ceo is basically when in multi cloud like how do we ensure that there are uniform policies across all these cloud environments how can i get a single pane of glass to ensure that my posture across all the clouds right uh, are in fact aligned to the policies what the enterprise has so that's the reason why today i think we, we saw it right? we saw the industry evolving into uh, of course many enterprises are now embracing solutions like a cspm right the cloud security posture management which is now become like few years back we were talking casb right few years back we were casb was the buzzword and today uh, i don't want to use the word buzzword but cspm and cwpp have become like fundamental building blocks of any cloud uh, uh, to ensure that cloud security is managed so i, I think uh, i think uh, definitely it's not uh, every ceo would like to have that uh, visibility across all the cloud and to ensure that the policies are uniform and uh, and of course uh, it's evolving uh, uh, industry and journey all together you know both of you are focused on priyank and you both focused on the security aspect being a ceo obviously and you know on the uh, part on the hygiene and the visibility obviously makes a lot of sense and also you know you know in the new normal that we are you know that's ever changing and in the buka world as we call it we always used to speak of buka world but with the pandemic we actually know what the buka world means it does exist and you know we need to be prepared for the new normal which keeps coming with every new wave that we are expecting now that we are expecting the third wave and i hope with the new uh, omicron we don't have a third wave coming in but yeah you know we have to be very resi- businesses have to be resilient have to ensure the hygiene factor your visibility you know and your uh, application awareness is taken care of so pratik now i want to move to you you know you heard priyank and satish talk about their top uh, design considerations for effective cloud strategy before i ask you more i would want to ask you why do businesses need to adopt a multi cloud sure uh, so uh, first of all smriti thanks uh, thanks for having me here on this uh, forum and it's great to hear uh, uh, some good opinions coming from uh, satish and priyank i hope you can hear me loud and clear yes absolutely all right okay so yeah definitely as you know as we talked about uh, the new normal uh, and we talked about the multi cloud adoption uh, there are definitely many reasons why organizations are drifting 
uh, into multi cloud uh, basically through circumstances and actually not by the plan and in fact if you look into the shadow it coupled with uh, the ease of acquiring and deploying the cloud application has actually placed many companies into a multi cloud configuration even before answering the enterprise wide strategy uh, or rather you know forming the enterprise wide strategy so uh, that that is primarily the reason why the companies have entered into a multi cloud environment and the organization uh, choose to multi cloud for various reasons like uh, some of the reasons would be to uh, to have best of the breed uh, features available uh, for, and every cloud provider will come with certain special offerings or certain strengths while uh, many organizations and their departments would probably need those kind of specific tool sets and the features coming from that service provider so that could be one of the reason uh, to look at uh, a specific cloud provider for a uh, for a best uh, feature sets the other reason uh, could be around the pricing environment as well because every cloud provider uh, tries to customize their offering based on uh, certain uh, different services that they are able to provide and you know again organizations will look into uh, the cost aspect for them to look at the different cloud uh, offerings coming from different uh, cloud providers and also the decision of selecting cloud is primarily done by certain departments as well and that's where you know uh, there is a difference of uh, viewpoint coming into uh, an enterprise environment uh, the third one is even there will be such certain set of customers who would be uh you know would not be very keen to put all eggs in one cloud you know one basket rather in one cloud provider and that is where you know organizations will be able to have more flexibility uh, of migrating across the cloud platform uh, which is best suited for that particular environment and the most important thing according to me would be uh, you know increasing the resiliency you know in in the past we have seen so many availability zones across uh, the different cloud providers across different geographies actually going down uh, for uh, probably not an acceptable uh, time frame as well and that is where i believe you know customers would look at uh, uh, building more uh, you know resilient environment uh, so that they can you know Uh, mitigate the risk coming from the outage across the cloud provider and uh, the other thing that i also believe is all about user experience right today we are talking about uh, you know so many edge services uh, and you know customers are king you know a lot of things are mobile and things like that uh, the connectivity uh, to the users or rather to the customer is the most important aspect that the business wants to drive and that is the reason uh, you know uh, not all cloud provider will have uh, cloud offerings across each and every state or for that matter each and every city so hence uh, you know even if an organization wants to look at uh, consolidating across one particular cloud provider but the proximity of geography does not allow them to uh, to look at uh, a single vendor solution so overall i feel these are some of the reasons why uh, you know the customers are looking at the multi cloud environment Yeah, at the top design uh, features coming from both the CTOs and stating the importance and why somebody should go for multi-cloud. Where you spoke about features, you spoke about a very important factor, which is pricing. You know, but that's where the uh, CTOs I think need to uh, see a fine balance between you know security as a primary concern and pricing as a concern for the organization. You know, and very important resiliency we already discussed earlier. and very very important customer experience i think customer experience forms the core of any technology that one adopts made be a from a security point of view or ciso can adopt or the it uh, leader the cto as we call it you know and now we are having as a part of the boardroom obviously thanks to the pandemic a lot of it leaders and the ciso's have got entry into the boardroom and uh, we are seeing that you know the core of the business which is customer experience you know and we are having customer experience officers who are also getting an entry to the board room so uh, uh, satish i'll move on to you to break the monotony you know of the thing uh, what are you what are the three important things if i have to ask you only three uh, you consider while deploying apps in cloud you know priyank already touched a little up on it so i thought i'll ask you okay uh... i'll talk about security only of course <laughs> like uh, you, you want me to talk security or you want me to talk generally about the cloud i think it should be uh, security is i think uh, it's yeah, like yeah. your passion so let's talk about security absolutely yes so basically uh, as i told you in fact in, in a multi cloud uh, in moment what is essential is an comprehensive security in fact uh, 
because that's the key because today uh, if you look at the cloud challenges or look at the past uh, cloud if i can say the issues uh, predominantly evolves around misconfigurations if you look at uh, go and talk to any of the uh, in fact the post incident if you go and see right uh, predominantly it was either some something which was misconfigured of course uh, the point is the threat landscape is changing so as the threat landscape is changing definitely we are seeing a lot of uh, uh, in fact uh, exploitations around the cloud misconfiguration which is typically always uh, not uh, uh, taken seriously and of course the other vulnerabilities remain uh, as and so the threats uh, also the threat vectors have really changed with very high accuracy so so what is important is and and second with such a growing uh, in fact uh, because the whole uh, i think the most important is agile i think enterprises get into the cloud journey to be more agile because that's the whole notion why uh, we are talking about uh, to move things faster so in this whole uh, moving things faster so definitely multi cloud <coughs> challenges remain same remain one of the biggest challenge so three things is of course so for me misconfigurations is one of the key uh, then of course uh, your whole visibility because cisos are uh, in fact uh, because the key is visibility to get a visibility and third is compliance of course staying compliant with whatever again depending on the organization like you may be a bank or you may be insurance or maybe payment organization or healthcare so what are compliance you set for yourself how do you ensure that your all your different cloud uh, environments stay while you would like to stay secure particularly are you compliant against uh, all the standards or what are regulatory requirements you are following so i think the biggest challenge today why enterprises are entering into the cspm journey is because the threat profile has changed and uh, as the cloud adoption has really gone i think it, it is it has multifolded now today and uh, as you all said uh, thanks to covid in fact it has really speeded up the whole uh, cloud journey so while many ent- many ent- enterprises got into this cloud journey very quickly now i think we are seeing lot of threats and lot of issues lot of challenges cropping out of this multi cloud environment i think now it's time to a uh, tackle that situation understand how that multi cloud has to be secured misconfigurations vulnerabilities and compliance these are the three top of my mind which definitely every ciso is concerned about and is working upon so priyank and you have almost echoed each other's words you spoke about you know visibility so did he you spoke about compliance he pointed out hygiene in a different way you know and you know overall is what till now whatever we've discussed uh, is what i'm saying that all of you all three of you are of the opinion that you know we need to be business agile and business resilient resilient in our business and security is the top concern for all of you so priyank moving to you you already can uh, you know covered two of the points any more points that you would want to add uh yeah definitely so uh, irrespective of the you know ecosystem i would always prefer uh, three things which basically the Uh, you know cover all the complete ecosystem or the overall enterprise environment but the first and most is the flexibility when we are talking about the flexible flexibility uh, it increases the business uh, avail- availability by uh, you know creating the environment resilient uh, through on demand ed- addition of the resources uh, freedom to create hybrid or a heterogeneous environment uh, contract customization as per the uh regulators lend of the law or our own business requirement apart from that uh, flexibility of adopting our own framework which can be extended for the uh, you know application integration which is uh, purely in terms of uh, custom application which uh, specifically required a deep and detailed security that is one point second part which is related to the control so if i talk about the control at any given point in time the control should be with the uh, you know organization not with the cloud so whatever the option we are choosing in the cloud it should have the control with the organization that control will always give you a complete detail you know the uh, security aspects in terms of cloud irrespective of you are going with the single cloud or multi cloud environment and the last point as i have already mentioned about earlier also that is related to the visibility if there is no visibility you cannot protect anything so visibility has to be there and deep and detailed visibility has to be there each and every transaction which is happening you know on a front layer as well as 
you know the background layer those all should be visible across the single dashboard yeah once we have that visibility then only we would be able to achieve the security aspects what we are talking about yeah the top That's considerations and uh, you know when i spoke about top design considerations or i spoke about you know the important things the ceo should consider you know we have satish and priyank both from different industries both are echoing each other's words so uh, you know when you as i earlier also stated the visibility security so kudos to both of you and so pratik i wanted to check with you uh, both of them have very clearly uh, you know focused on the security as aspect and very they seem to be very passionate when talking about security being a, you know not just because being a ceo it comes out very clearly from what they want for their organization if you had to give a cloud security checklist to a ceo what are the top five things that you would incorporate all right uh so uh, thanks prithi uh, definitely you know uh, there are certain things uh, that i would want to share on this panel uh, but i completely echo the the words that uh, satish and priyank mentioned uh, especially on uh, some of the biggest threats that customers are uh, seeing nowadays are primarily uh, internal uh, which are primarily misconfiguration as coming out to be top of the chart uh some of the other concerns that uh, you know the surveys are bringing out are around the account hijacking uh, insecure interfaces and even you know unauthorized access so uh, just to add to uh, you know the the certain threats that satish mentioned uh, you know completely these are some of the uh, you know top uh, bracketed uh, challenges that customers are talking about uh, let me just uh, take a step back and you know talk about uh, Uh, you know uh, you know how do how this new normal has been for all of us you know we have heard about it uh, throughout the pandemic and to me the new normal is apparently insecure by default and the reason why i'm saying insecure by default is you know if you look into the the shift uh, that has actually happened uh, in terms of focus from digitizing the user experience uh, to digitizing the business you know this is the shift that has happened Uh, in the in the pandemic and many many organizations are actually moving too fast uh, to 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 come up with this kind of uh, change and and the result is you know organizations are tactically agreeing uh, to take greater risk by moving you know faster uh, without probably paying equal attention to the security and to me it's like you know building a house on a on a shifting sand which is a bad idea and basing the foundation of an emerging digital business on a insecure practice or insecure security approaches is also a bad idea so what i feel today uh, is about you know it's important that uh, the organizations better understand the difference between risk and the threats you know uh, risk is something that you know business is ready to take and that is and threat is something that actually comes from someone or somebody else right so the risk of this event is something that every business is ready to accept and you know the risk the risk could be around you know breach of data losing access to the ransomware or malware or unauthorized access and things like that which is completely fine and customers and organizations understand but this is actually the entry fee that the organizations are paying to be available on the internet right so that's about risk talking about threat you know generally we have seen you know threats are of two kinds you know uh, one is the uh, the internal threats and the other are the uh, you know threats coming from outside right typically the attacks are always launched uh, you know when there is a vulnerability found or there is a window of opportunity identified by a hacker uh, to exploit that kind of vulnerabilities and things like that and the result could be something else you know uh, the remote access or things like that uh so these are some of the threats that the organizations are aware of and uh, th while there are some internal threats as well you know the internal threats could be around uh, you know the line of business is moving too fast uh, uh with the pace of digital transformation or it could be from the de devops community or the development community uh, which is kind of leaving the uh, you know window open for uh, 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 you know attackers to get into it so it actually turns out that the someone or something might be ourselves itself you know uh, it is the organization finally who is responsible uh, for those kind of threats and things like that. so what i feel is it's time that the organization take a pause 
uh, to take a stock of situation right now and where they want to get into uh, in the in the moment of the digital transformation and then look at a holistic approach of you know securing as well as moving forward at a scale you know uh, finally you know it's a biggest risk that the business ac- accepts is the biggest threat you know that is where i firmly believe about so just summarizing on the cloud security uh, you know pillars uh, you know there's priyank and satish has already spoken a lot about uh, having visibility and compliance and i completely echo their words you know finally if you do not have visibility you cannot secure it's like you know firing in a dark right so it's important that you have complete visibility and the complete visibility which also provides you ongoing improvement i i would probably want to add more to the visibility which is ongoing improvement uh, on the visibility and the and the frame compliance framework the other thing that i would want to also call out is uh, the uh, compute based security today you know uh, uh, you know networks definitely are vulnerable and you know, uh, you know there's a lot of you know focus on the network uh, security as well but it's finally you have to also secure your end sy- end systems or the workloads residing within the cloud and that's where you know uh, satish also bro- brought out a good point you know the, the buzzword right now is csp or ca CWPP, right? It's it's important that the compute based uh, security is considered as one of the strong, uh, you know, security framework. Uh, also talking about network protections, right? Uh, you know, like network protections is very very integral to an on premises environment. It is definitely important even in the cloud environment, which actually provides uh, a kind of you no know, roadblocks between the uh, applications and the workload, uh, so that it becomes much more difficult for the attackers to. you uh, know let, lateral movement uh, from one infected host to the another one and basically this is called as micro segmentation and it also provides uh, an uh, you know border uh, basically it extends the border of cloud environment up to the user level and that's where you know network protection is a very strong pillar of the cloud security and lastly talking about the identity security you know it's it's really important nowadays that we map users to the specific identities and allow them to authorize and authorize them to carry on work which they are you know uh, meant to do on the network it also ensures that the users are able to access their applications uh, that they need to perform uh, in a way ensuring that only specific compute or specific machines can only talk to the you know uh, the other machines as needed by the application so to me yes micro segmentation and and identity security are Uh, a very strong integral component of cloud security and finally just want to sum it up you know cloud security is definitely a shared responsibility uh, you know vendors and service providers will do their best but it's it's actually a joint responsibility for a better outcome i think you know what you said in the end as summarizing you know this when you said the cloud security is a joint responsibility and just not of the organization or the vendor that they are looking at and one very important point what you said you know when you spoke uh, risk and threats are actually synonyms but there is a you the small line of difference actually is a huge line of difference if we if cso's and you know people understand what's the difference and be easier to understand where can they take the risk to avoid the threat so okay. that's where yeah so in the possibility of time i'll just ask one last question to satish and priyank i would un- like to answer what very important i have this uh, thing of asking all my cso's whenever i interview is there anything one word answer i would want from both of you uh, satish and priyank is there any uh, what do you uh, as a cso what do you uh, you know are you scared of or you you know it gets something which gives you sleepless nights priyank you're on mute it's basically a internal uh, threats internal threats and satish so oh, i sleep happily <laughs> because uh, i think we need to acknowledge the fact that uh, breaches are bound to happen let's uh, acknowledge i think that's the the biggest threat not accepting the fact that something will happen so i think uh, uh, the best thing is to uh, be cognizant of the fact that yes something is going to happen so i think improving your defenses and uh, whatever best uh, of course uh, no doubt priyanka has said internal threats are definitely one of the key ones but uh, i think we all we all know no maybe 10 years back uh, data breach is something like a, a, a is something 
uh, very big but today i think every day we have a breach right so that's fine so and it's not that we lost the battle i think it's a continuous uh, what do you call we have to constantly keep uh, improving ourselves and and things are evolving and uh, yeah that's i think we have to keep doing keep doing things uh, good work and uh, ensure that we are we stay safe and secure So, you know what you said was about the breach the breach is happening you know we've been hearing every day about malware happening ransomware happening and security earlier uh, as i said you know earlier C- uh, cso's have got an entry into the boardroom the importance of security uh, has been realized and also it has accelerated 10x or 100x i don't know the right number because of the pandemic so thanks to the pandemic for that so it has accelerated for that so thank you so much for this discussion Thank you, Pratik. Thank you, Priyank, and thank you, Satish. Uh, I could go on and on. I still have a lot of questions to ask, but in the paucity of time, I will have to end this. But thank you so much for being a part of the Cloud Summit. Yeah, thank you, Satish. Uh, My pleasure. Before before leaving, I would uh, just ex- extend what Satish uh, said that breaches are happening, bound to happen. Every day it is happening. Uh, it is. I mean, there is no security software available in the world which can secure you hundred percent. so it's better the awareness is the major key to handle the situation the better you aware your internal customers uh, the better you are secure and better you are reducing your risk thank you thank you thank you thank you all it was nice talking thank you thank you everyone over to you ashish